Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best iPad home screen widgets. Now, there are a lot of awesome widgets that you can get on your iPhone running iOS 14 and of course they work on the iPad as well. Even though you cannot place them anywhere you want on the home screen of your iPad, you're still limited to the widget panel but you can still of course use them and there are some great widgets that you can get on your iPad running iPad OS 14. Let's start it off with Widget. Now Widget is hands down one of the best, if not the best widget that you can get on your iOS 14 or iPadOS 14 device. Here I have three different widgets from this app. So we have one there with the details regarding the device, the brightness, battery, storage, RAM memory, and all that. We have a pretty cool one here with the battery, the date, and the clock. And we have this one really cool looking right there with all the different informations regarding the device. Now, what's cool about this app is that if you go to the app, you will have here a bunch of different widgets that you can add to the home screen of your iPad. And what you can also do is go ahead and join the community. And right here on Reddit, you will find beautiful widgets that you can import. You can see these, how cool they look. You can import them, of course, to your iPad or iPhone directly from here. So people here will post different widgets and will share the QR code, which then allows you to go ahead and import these widgets and of course apply them to the home screen of your iPad. Now, if you go under manage here, you will have the different slots where you can place widgets. You go ahead, tap on one of them, and then of course you can go ahead and choose whichever widget you want to place on that slot. And then of course, just apply it from the widgets panel on your iPad. Next up is Widgetopia. This is also an amazing app that allows you to download a bunch of different widgets for the home screen of your iPad. Like you can see the two that I have right here, a medium one and a small one. You can see how much information it does display on the widgets panel here. So at the top right there, we have the time, the calendar, we have the weather forecast, of course, all that, also the battery, all that in just one widget. You can get these like custom widgets from the Widgetopia app. Once you go into the app, you just move on to their community on Reddit. And again, same as widget, you will be able to download different custom widgets for the home screen of your iPad. And also once you have added a small one, a medium one or a bigger one, you just go ahead right here tap on edit widget and then you can go ahead and choose whichever widget you want to apply there so if you have like downloaded more than one widget of course it will show right here and you will be able to select it from here and then apply it to the home screen of your ipad Next up is Google. Now, Google is a must have widget for the home screen of your iPad. It offers two different sizes, the smaller one and the medium one. While on the smaller one, you can just tap right there to go ahead and quickly start a search. On the medium one, you will have three different actions. So you will have the search there, and then you have here the voice search. So whenever you tap on something, it will actually do that. And you can go ahead and also open here an incognito tab on Google directly from the widget. The next one is a weather widget called Hey Weather. Now, Hey Weather is by far my favorite weather widget for the home screen of my iPhone and my iPad as well. Now, it offers the three different sizes, medium, small, and of course, the bigger one, which you can see right here. Now, I prefer to use here on the iPad, the bigger one, because all of the, all the different details that it does show on the widget. Like you can see the current weather here, you can see the high, the low, and then you can see right here the hourly forecast, you can see the wind, humidity, the UV index, and also the pressure. And what I like about it is that it also shows you the weather forecast for the next four days right here on the widget. So an amazing app, amazing widget with a ton of different information. Also, if you go into the app, then you will be able to actually go ahead and go to the widget section right here and customize these widgets. So you will have all these that are locked. Of course, you will have to pay for them, but you will have a few also that are free and of course allow you to customize your widget. You can do this with any of the widgets. So the smaller one, the medium one, or the bigger one. Next, we have Dropbox. Dropbox is also one of the bigger apps that has support for iOS 14 and iPadOS 14 home screen widgets. It offers a bunch of them right here. We can see two of them, which I like and use the most. So we have 
two medium ones. The first one allows you to quickly upload a file, record audio, upload a photo or scan a document. You tap on any of the sections and it will of course open just right there. And then you will have here another one with your recent files. So it shows you the, your three most recent files. And of course you can go ahead and open them from here. So you just tap on any of these files that you want to open and it will actually open that file really really cool again it offers like i believe six or seven different widgets which allow you to perform quick actions on the dropbox app next we have event time now with event time you will be able to see your upcoming events on the widget right here it is really cool as it allows you to add a bigger widget which of course will show you four different events now you go to the app and of course create the events and then you can just go ahead and add right here the widget and you can see right there your upcoming events all the time right here on the home screen it also offers a medium and a small widget which allows you to set just one event that you want to see on the home screen of your ipad now, one of my favorite apps that offers home screen widgets for the iPad and iPhone as well is Wikipedia because it has some really interesting widgets that you can add on the home screen of your device. You can see right here at the top, we have one that will show you the photo of the day. And then we have here the top read. You can see it shows you the two top read on Wikipedia. And if we scroll here, here we have one of my favorite widgets on this day so wikipedia will show you what happened on this day of course in the past year so you can see right here some things that have happened and you can see we have like this button right here that says 47 more historical events on this day you tap right there of course and it will take you to the wikipedia app when you can go ahead and check out all the different events that have happened the same day so really really cool and of course very informative if you want to be informed with like different things that have happened and of course all the top reads here and photos of the day of course you can do that with a free app from wikipedia next up we have apollo now apollo is one of the best apps when it comes to using reddit if you like to use reddit on your iphone or iPad, then Apollo is the app to go. And of course it offers home screen widgets. We have like, I believe 12, if not even more widgets that we can get from this app. Here we have three of them. We can see here the home feed. So we have like the top rated posts right there. Then we have another one with the wallpaper of the day. Of course, if you like the wallpaper, you can go ahead and check it out simply by tapping there on the widget. And right here, you can have your subreddits on this widget. You go ahead, tap there, tap the edit button, and then you can go ahead and add your subreddits right there. And of course, they will appear right here on this home screen widget. You tap here, of course, it will open directly to that subreddit that you choose. So if you just want to quickly go ahead and have access to your subreddits, you can do that from here. Again, this app offers a ton of different widgets with a ton of different informations from Reddit. Next up is Photo Widget. Now with Photo Widget, you can have your favorite photos on the home screen of your iPad. Of course, you can do that with the Photos app, which is the stock app of the iPad. But with that, you won't be able to choose which photos you want to display there. Also, how fast they're going to change. Now with this one, you can do that. Also display the name of the album and the date right there, which is really amazing. And of course, you can add multiple widgets from this app. Just go ahead and 3D touch tap on edit and choose whichever album you want to display here. Of course, you go ahead, edit and create the albums from the app. If you go into the app right here, you can see you have the album, you can add new photos, you can edit the album right here. If you want to remove any photos or rename the album, or you can go ahead and of course create new albums. And if you go to settings right here, you can pick how fast you want the photos to change. You can see you have the lowest one at one minute, up to 24 hours and you can set how quickly you want the photos from that album to update and change on the home screen of your iPad. Next up is Widget Smith. Now Widget Smith is one of the earliest apps to be released supporting iOS 14 home screen widgets and I believe this is the most downloaded widget app on the app store it is really cool it allows you to customize the widgets and display anything you want right here so here we have two different widgets from this app we have one with a calendar and a smaller one that shows you all the different information here regarding your location or any city that you pick you can 3d touch on any of these widgets 
tap on edit widget and right there you can go ahead and choose another widget that you have customized within this app. Now, if you go to the app, you will have here the ability to go ahead and customize these widgets any way you like. You can see a ton of different options right here that you can choose and display anything you want there like from the time you can see you have the clock there we have a calendar you can go ahead and display weather anything you want and once you're done of course you will have that widget right here and then you can go ahead and pick that from the widget panel and last but not least is music harbor now music harbor is a widget that will allow you to follow your favorite artists and you can see the upcoming releases and the latest releases from your favorite artists you can see how beautiful these widgets are right here you can see we have a medium one and a bigger one they're displaying the album arts right here and of course the latest song right there it looks really really cool and of course you can have like and information regarding the songs that have been released and will be released by your favorite artists really really cool and of course the app is totally free so that's it for this video guys these are some of the best ipad os 14 home screen widgets that you can get for your ipad it's of course a bad thing that you cannot have them anywhere you want on the screen of your ipad even though this is a bigger screen of course than that of the iphone but again we have to deal with it and just have them right here on the left side of the ipad so again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos leave a like in this one if you enjoyed it if you want to download any of these apps make sure you go ahead and check out the pinned comment i'll see you guys on the next one